In this video, we're going to find the greatest common factor of, of two numbers. We abbreviate that as GCF. Let's say we want to find the greatest common factor of 6 and 8. All right. So what we do is we find the largest number that goes into both 6 and 8. We're going to do this by using our prime factorization. We'll do a little factor tree here, 2 times 3. This one is 2 times 4, 2 times 2 times 2. And what you do then is you look, this is 2 times 3, this is 2 to the third power. You look for the factors they have in common. They both have a 2. And you find the smallest exponent, smallest power. That's the first. So that then becomes your GCF. GCF of 6 and 8 is the number 2. If two numbers have a GCF of 1, then they are said to be relatively prime. In relation to each other, they are prime. Let's find another uh, GCF of two numbers. Let's take the number, um, take 40 and 60. And this time, instead of doing the fact that you would do that little division method. So, 2 into 40 goes 20, 2 into 20 goes 10, 2 into 10 goes 5, 3, no, 5, yes, goes 1. So the factors of this are 2, 2, 2, 5, 2 to the third power times 5. How about 60? 2 goes into that 30, 2 goes into that 15, 3 goes into that 5, and 5 goes in that once. So the factors here are 2, 2, 3, and 5. That's 2 to the second power times 3 times 5. GCF, different factors. There's 2's and there's 5's. So we're going to take 2 times 5. Smallest exponent of the 2's is 2. Smallest exponent of the 5's is 1. So 2 to the second power times 5. That's a GCF. And that's equal to 4 times 5, which is 20. So the GCF of 40, 60 is equal to 20. Remember, if it's a GCF of 1, they're relatively prime. Hope this helps you find the GCF of two numbers. And as always, have a very happy day.